In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a cottage pie in this, an absolutely colossal size baking tin. I mean, look at the size of it, it's massive. And this is what we're gonna be doing today, so stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Welcome to another episode of Paulie's Kitchen. My name is Paulie and this is my kitchen. In today's episode, I'm gonna be making a cottage pie in this, which is a base of a wedding cake tin and it's gonna be absolutely ginormous. I would like to say that I know how to do this and I've worked it all out. I haven't really got a clue. I'm kind of winging it, but we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed. So guys, if this is your first time here, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But guys, we're gonna dive straight in. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that you will need, and they are right here. So don't worry if you do miss these ingredients, I will be putting these in the info box below. So do check out there, and you'll catch them down there. So a cottage pie wouldn't be a cottage pie without this, which is two kilos of shredded beef. I've used a top side cut, and I've shredded it myself. It was the same price as minced beef, and I know that this is good quality beef in here, rather than the mince. And of course, we're gonna encase it in some pastry. I'm gonna put the link here, it's a great recipe. Check it out and you'll find out exactly how to make this. So yeah guys, that is everything you'll need. We're gonna dive straight in. And the first thing we need to do is we need to flour our work surface. We're gonna take our pastry and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in half. Just like that. And we're gonna save this half and use that in a minute. So what I've kind of worked out is, is that your pastry needs to be about a centimeter thick for a pie of this size, I hope. And also, and I'm also gonna make this into two parts. So I'm gonna make the base, and then I'm gonna roll out the edges and then push it together. And hopefully that sticks. So we're gonna take our rolling pin, and I'm just gonna roll this out. And like I do in all of my videos, we're gonna roll, quarter turn, and roll. So now that we've rolled our pastry out like this, we're gonna take our massive cake tin and we're gonna pop this on top of our pastry. We'll take a palette knife and we're just gonna go round the outside. We're gonna move that aside, pop that down and place that in the base, just like that. So we're gonna flour our, our work surface. So we're gonna take our, the other side of our pastry and we're gonna make this long and flat. I'm gonna just cut one edge down and work this back in. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna cut into the top to wipe the inside for a little bit of water. Push that all in. I'm just gonna trim the edge of our pie or our cake tin Pie tin, pie tin, oh, it's a pie tin. So I'm gonna trim the edge of our massive pie tin. So yeah guys, that is our pie tin. It is lined with short crust pastry. We're gonna pop this in the fridge for about an hour now. In the meantime, we're gonna make the pie mix. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our carrots. We're gonna peel these. So we're gonna take our sharp knife and we're gonna dice this. So now we're gonna take our mushrooms, we're gonna cut these into sixes. So now we're gonna take our onions, take our sharp knife, we're gonna cut straight down the middle. We're gonna cut off the ends, peel them, and chop them. And take a glass bowl and pop these into our glass bowl. Paul was gonna get away with crying then, but not. So next thing I want guys is my trusty stock pot. It's absolutely massive, it's old, it's battered, it's marked, but this is exactly what I need right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that on our stove like that. Take our oil. 
Hey, and we're going to pop this into here. So once our oil's hot, hear that sizzle. I've already got my onions in hand, so you know these are going in there now. So we're going to pop our onions into our stock pot. So when your onions look like this, we're going to take our two kilos of topside beef and we're going to pop all of that into our stock pot. And we're going to brown all of this meat off. I need something a little bit more sturdy than this, I think. So once all of your beef has browned off and it looks like this, what we're going to do is we're going to add in our tomatoes, we're going to add in our red, we're going to add in our stock, stir this through, we're going to take our lid and we're going to let that simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour, about 45 minutes to an hour. So now that we've been cooking our beef for about an hour, it should look something like this. Take your mushrooms, once your mushrooms are in, take your carrots and put those in as well. Now the lid's back on, there's a lot of moisture in the mushrooms, so we're going to let the water sweat out of the mushrooms and the carrots as well, to be fair, for about 10 minutes. And while they're doing that, we're going to take a saucepan and we're going to make our roux. So we're going to take our flour and our butter and we're just going to mix that into a paste. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a spoonful of roux, a little bit at a time because you can always put more in but you can't take it out. So we're going to pop that in there like that. So we put a little bit more in and we're going to give that a nice stir in. So if you have a look into the saucepan now, you will see that our cottage pie mixture has gone lovely and thick and creamy like. So there's a couple of things we need to do now. We need to take our tablespoon of chopped rosemary. We want to take our salt and we want a generous pinch in there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to stir that in and turn it off the heat. We're going to grab one of these which is going to stop my sideboard from being burnt, which is cool. We're going to pop that there. So we're going to take our big stock pot and we're going to pop it there like that. So I've taken my massive pie tin out of the fridge and what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with our delicious beef mixture. We're going to take our mashed potato and what we're going to do is we're just going to spoon our potato all over the top. I'm going to take a fork I'm just going to fluff this up. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to chuck a load of cheese on the top and I'm going to bung it in the oven. So the reason the cottage pie is called a cottage pie is because of the mashed potato on top and it said it's supposed to look like the thatched houses on the manor houses where the workers would live. So they would take all the off cuts of the meat, pop it in the pie dish and put mashed potato on top. It's kind of peasant food. This one is definitely not peasant food. I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. Right, should I put some more on? Yeah, let's load it right up with cheese. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the edge of the top of the pie. Just so it doesn't look as silly. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Cheating. So what I'm going to do now is going to pop this in the oven and it weighs an absolute ton. So I'm going to have to say it and not do it. So I'm going to pop this at the, uh, in the oven. I'm going to put this on a lower heat because it's so big. I'm going to put this at 150 degrees and I'm going to bake it for about an hour. <sighs> Weighs an absolute ton. On first glance, it looks really, really delicious. But what we need to do is we need to take it out of this pie tin. So. I'm quite sure I have to do this. Um, I need a big bowl, that's what I need. Lovely. Let's try that, let's try and put this in the centre. Looks about the centre to me. Really hot. Here goes. Is it kind of? It's kind of stuck. 
<laughs> At least it hasn't fallen apart. I know what we'll do. I'm gonna put another one of these on it. Let's try and get this out properly. we go. Lovely. So yeah guys, that's how you make an incredibly massive cottage pie. I mean, it looks absolutely delicious and I can't wait to tuck into this for the next week. <laughs> so guys, do remember to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release the next video, which will be really soon. But in the meantime guys, I hope you're inspired, happy cooking and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. everywhere <laughs> and there's also a cat everywhere <sighs> what are you up to Lumi? you back up there? you back up there there we go so now that we've been cooking our beef for about an hour it should look something like this Ooh, <laughs> boiling water